Welcome to Prayer and Bible Band, Lesson 11. I do not own the rights to this music. The topic is healing for body, soul, and spirit. The background reading is coming out of Psalm 147, verse 3. Proverbs 18, verse 14. Luke chapter 22, verse 51. 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 1. The devotional reading is coming out of Isaiah chapter 43, verses 3 through 14. The central verse says, And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly, and I pray your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. And that's 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 23. Psalm 147, verse 3. He healeth the broken in heart and bindeth up their wounds. Proverbs 18, verse 14. The spirit of a man will sustain his infirmity, but a wounded spirit who can bear? Luke 22, verse 51. And Jesus answered and said, Suffer ye thus far. And he touched his ear and healed him. 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 1. Now concerning the things whereof ye wrote unto me, it is good for a man not to touch a woman. Isaiah 43, verses 3 through 14. For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. I gave Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia and Seba for thee. Since thou wast precious in my sight, thou hast been honorable, and I have loved thee. Therefore will I give men for thee, and people for thy life. Fear not, for I am with thee. I will bring thy seed from the east and gather thee from the west. I will say to the north, Give up, and to the south, Keep not back. Bring my sons from far, and my daughters from the ends of the earth, even every one that is called by my name. For I have created him for my glory. I have formed him, yea, I have made him. Bring forth the blind people that have eyes, and the deaf that have ears. Let all the nations be gathered together, and let the people be assembled. Who among them can declare this? and show us former things. Let them bring forth their witnesses, that they may be justified, or let them hear and say, It is true. Ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen, that ye may know and believe me, and understand that I am he. Before me there was no God formed, neither shall there be after me. I, even I, am the Lord, and beside me there is no Savior. I have declared and have saved, and I have showed when there was no strange God among you. Therefore ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord, that I am God. Yea, before the day was, I am he, and there is none that can deliver out of my hand. I will work, and who shall let it? Thus saith the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, for your sake I have sent to Babylon and have brought down all their nobles and the Chaldeans whose cry is in the ships. The key terms for today's lesson. Manifestations, malfunctions, and spirit connection. Manifestations, the act of process, or an instance of manifesting, to make evident or certain by showing or displaying a public demonstration of power and purpose. Malfunctions, to function imperfectly or poorly, failing to operate normally. Spirit connection, a means of communication of transport or relationship with the force 
within a person believed to give the body life, energy, and power. The introduction says, it is the will of God for man to be made whole, complete. In the total man, there is soul, which was made, which includes mind, will, emotions, passions, and memory. And then body, which was formed and is the physical structure of a person. Next, there is spirit, which was created and it comes from God and man receives it when he confesses Jesus Christ as his Lord and believes in his heart that God raised him from the dead. The discussion says, even everyone that is called by my name, for I have created him for my glory. I have formed him, yea, I have made him. God begins to say to his children Israel, when you're between a rock and a hard place, when you find yourselves in trouble over your heads and it seems like a dead end, remember that I'm your God, your Savior, Savior, who paid a huge price for you because you mean so much to me. I love you enough to rescue you and your sons and daughters. Since I created the universe and own everything, I'll give it all for you because I created all of you for my glory. God said that he formed and made every part of man and will do what is necessary to make him whole. He said, get the blind, the deaf, and see that there is nothing wrong that I can't handle. Israel is my witness to what I can and will do for them. God said, believers, you are my hand-picked servants. I just want you to trust me. God wants his people to know that he is the God of all flesh and there is nothing too hard for him to do. He wants his believers to prosper in this world, have good health, mind, body, and flourish in his soul. He has assured his children that he is their God, has always been and will always be their God. Paul tells the church, that God is them covered, has them covered, but they cannot be gullible. Check out what people have to say to you, but know that God, who makes everything holy and whole, can make you holy and whole in your spirit, soul, and body. He knows how to keep you fit for the coming of the Master. Jesus Christ for he is completely dependable. He has said that he can do exceeding abundantly above all, can ask or think, but it is according to how much you can trust him to release that power to you. God formed man from the dust of the earth and put everything man needs to maintain his body here on earth. God wants the believer to remember that his body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And he also wants the believers to maintain their bodies in good health. But sometimes they just don't do it. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. The body is the house or vessel for the soul. And the soul is what gives the body life and is separate from the spirit. The Bible tells us that the soul is in the blood and is passed from generation to generation through the bloodline. For the life of the flesh is in the blood and I have given it to you upon the altar to make an atonement for your souls for it is the blood that maketh an atonement. For the soul, soul life is not immortal. It is passed on through generations or it perishes when a person dies. Believers must pray and ask God what to eat and what to do to keep their blood healthy. Germs can't live in healthy blood. Have you noticed that the doctors need blood samples 
to see what's going on with your blood? Life is in the blood. The believers must partner with God and give their bodies proper rest, food, water, and exercise. Remember, God made this body to last a lifetime with proper maintenance. Now, God will not come down to earth and make you take care of yourself because he gave man the wisdom to do that for himself. The conclusion says, man is so unique because God made man in his image and gave him a spirit after he had finished creating his earth. God is a spirit, so his image had to have a spirit. Animals did not get a spirit, they got body and soul, but only man got spirit. The spirit is what a believer uses to connect with God through prayer and manifestations. The believer needs to maintain a good relationship with God by fasting, praying, reading the word, and living holy. These are the things that keep the believer's spirit clean and healthy. God is healing for the spirit because he does not want the believers to have wounded spirits. It causes a malfunction in the church of Jesus Christ. People with wounded hearts tend to harm other people. Adam and Eve lost their spiritual connection when they sinned. Jesus came and made it possible for the line to be reconnected. The questions for today's lesson. Question 1. What makes up the body? Question 2. What makes the soul different from the body and how are they connected? Question 3. Why did God give the spirit to man only? Question 4. What can the believer do to help keep his body in good health? The essential thought says, with God's help, every believer can have a healthy body, soul, and spirit. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.